在我来这里之前，我在外面的生活很乱，一切都很乱。嗯，进来随着自己身体好了以后，慢慢慢慢就调整过来，思想也很乱。以前，现在就慢慢思想就很清楚，啊，慢慢都在好。Everything has changed. I hope God meant to get back in my land. I'm almost 60 years old. I'm a director of the data, also the founder. I came here because I don't want to go back to my life. I don't want to go back to my life. I've been here for eight years now. 八个多月的时间，嗯，成立经历、嗯、啊，我有我有，呃，以前是也成立了五年。You know, the Chinese family is very close, you know, with each other. So when someone in the in the family they they have a drug problems, all the family is like a big, you know, they don't know how to deal with that, you know. 戴托普的理念很简单，就是人帮人，帮自己。All the drug addicts they come to our center to go through the program. They feel just like a family, you know. 最重要的日常工作就是治疗社区每天的一些小组活动。Of the care. So all staff member, uh, like uh, almost half of them is a uh, is uh, extra addicts. They have a natural, you know, connection with the uh, the residents. Morning meeting, your seminar, groups. Then I thought it's. Very effective. Come from and then all of you tell me uh, you're rich people, but you know you, you're poor. You know you, why you lie? No, I don't lie. You lie. Why? Uh, you, you know everything. Uh, then they really face the reality. My first time, I, I feel I'm a I'm a person. You know I'm a. I was in the streets. You know. I, I'm a, like a big man, you know, or oh, I'm a very rich. I'm a really 
not a uh, almost you know um, book. You know. Uh 成为了社会上的精英现在生活的很好然后他们依然很怀念这个地方很怀念我们所以经常会回来看我们和我们一起交流那么我同时我们也在外面聚会互相交流一下自己的故事他在外面工作经历了些什么他在外面生活有些什么困难我们会互相交流互相学习我来这里之前最让我恐惧的事情就是脱药的过程因为这个过程我会恐惧因为我害怕害怕自己承受不了脱药的那种痛苦还有我在这里经历一些最难忘的事
four years, uh, no one gets successed. Well, uh, not even one. So I'm not very uh, disappointed. Uh, 1993, when data first time came to the, uh, China, they want to uh, help the China to uh, to build the uh, institute to help drug addict. They choose the Kunming. Why did they choose Kunming? Because uh, in that time, China is a uh, uh, China. They declared uh, it's a drug-free country. They declared in, in Yunnan they have a drug. They drug addict in Yunnan. That's the first time they say uh, uh, Yunnan has a problem. So uh, the, the state government, the uh, U.S., they send the uh, the founder, this mm -hmm. guy, Monsignor William Auburn. Him help. So they say only in Yunnan. When he uh, first came to uh, to Kunming, he saw many, many drug addicts. We ask us many questions, we don't know, we don't know how to give the answer, you know. They negotiate with the government in Yunnan province. They say they will give the funding to train a uh, staff member. In, in China. So I all, almost gave up. 1993, yeah. When Monsignor came, he said, I will give you the chance to go to the United States. The New York. assistant director, counselor, senior counselor, you know, man, even the nurse, you know, all the ex drug addicts. That's the solution. So I was there, stay there for eight months. So I'm thinking maybe America can do, Chinese can do. After eight months, you know, uh, a lot of conflict in my heart, you know. I want to stay, I want to come back, I want to stay, I come back, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying hard, you know, I, I did hard, I want to help them, but I don't know how, you know. But right now I find a solution. I'm trying, but it's different culture, you know, different surrounding, different, you know, economy situation, different, you know, social uh, system, you know. Um, so I'm thinking, I'd like to try. 1995, you know, I came back. I did the, the, the first pilot program. We called a recovery uh, family. But it was shut down, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. In that time, because it's the government, that time I'm a, I'm a, a, a staff member in the in Institute for Drug Abuse. It's funded by the government. I'm an employee of the government. After a couple of days, the first drug addict came to the program. This guy stayed the program for 20 days. We have five staff members, only one drug addict in the, in the facility. After 20 days, then the second come. Then come, come, then, then, then. Uh, I think uh, we worked for uh, 11, 11 months, we treated about 90 drug addicts. Every day, you know, uh, the people stay there, they clean, cooking, you know, care each other. I never imagined, you know, without, you know, yeah, I'm not sure, that. you know, yeah. it can work in China. After uh, 11 months, the government, they put back the money, you know. You don't give the money anymore. They are very angry with me, you know. And that 
time and my set I think uh, like uh, 40, almost 40 residents in that time. A lot of people relying on you. Uh, leader, you know, they say want to close this, so I have to come into the, uh, the uh, came to the facility and say I will close this center because the government they don't give the money. Any drug addict, they are very they be quiet. And I said, why? You know, we we'll try so hard to find a way to, to help us. You know, want to do something to. You know, I really find this place we are really enjoying. You know, really help us. You know, white clothes. I said, no, it's not my decision. It's the, uh, their decision. How can we do that? We can. We want to continue. That I don't know. I have no way. Uh, I'm an employee of government, so I don't know. I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry." I'm thinking someday I will find this vendor again. Then the man in Georgia did they did they left, but they came to my house. You know, like almost every day. You know, and they said, "Oh, Dr. Yang, I would like to uh, have a meeting with you." Then we, we, are, we started a new program, they call it Narcotic Anonymous, it, but it's not good enough for them. They need a place. So one day, when the, uh, because uh, Yunnan Institute for Drug Abuse, they call it IDA, they say, okay, uh, then uh, government, uh, state government will give the money for training, for the treatment, for something. Then the, the state government for uh, organize, give some money for land, for building the house, you know, they have an agreement with that. Then the state government give, uh, I think, uh, three million US dollar. So 1996, they have a, they call the uh, Asia Federation of Therapeutic Community Conference. So uh, the, the they top staff member. They came to the Kremlin. They went to our boss saying, I don't understand why you close this center. You know, this center help a lot of drug addicts. You know, many people, uh, they need this help. Also, the girl state government give the money. My boss is very, you know, scared about that. So they said, OK, well, we'll open again, we'll open again. I say, okay, but if I have this program, I stop the program, I have my condition, you know. They say, okay, uh, but we have condition also. I say, what is the condition? I say, uh, before the, the, the conference uh, open, you must have 40 residents in the center. But if you cannot uh, have a 40 residents in your in your facility, then we will cut your next half year salary. Hey, my salary is a gift from the government. It's not from you. How can you cut my salary? I work hard. Uh, no way. Then all the, the residents they come to my house. Uh, I say, hey. Dr. Yang, don't worry about that. Uh, you do this, we'll help you because we need this program. Okay? They don't give you the money, we give you the money because there is a residence is very rich. I can lend you money if you do this. Uh, you, you have to try, you know, because we need this. And many people coming to my 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 house, you know, talking to me. They say, okay, Chinese American style, they talk village. That's the they talk what come from. We rent the the, the, the third floor. We clean the, the the decorate, you know, clean the, the floor, uh, decorate the the room there. It's a, it's really you know a really very good for us, you know, so we are uh, very happy about that. Did the recent failure of the pilot program
kind of stay with you? Are you feeling confident or hopeful? Absolutely. Very, very, you know, at that time when we, when we started the new program, you know, it's the atmosphere is so great, you know, the people very enjoy staying there, you know. Before the, the main, the master drug choice is a heroin. But right now, shift to the methamphetamines. Uh, something like that. So the, something happens. We, we have to charge them the money for the for the treatment. It's all it's all you know, uh, challenges. Now we really have uh, help a lot of drug addicts. Uh, but some people, poor people, they cannot afford the program. We're, we're very, 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 you know, uncomfortable about that, you know. They don't go and die and they go and die. Yeah. You know, earlier in that time, Chinese were open, you know. Also, the Chinese government, uh, they really want to do something. They have good, they have good policy, but when they implement the, the policy on the ground, it's different, you know. You understand what I mean? When the central government they say they want to help, but right now the NGO is very hard to survive in the in the in the Chinese in the Chinese setting. You know, we don't know how to reach the government funding. It's very hard for us. It's different system. You know? Why has local government closed to NGO activity? Is it fear of international influence? <sighs> it's a it's a. It's a good question, but it's also a very hard question to answer. You know, um, you know um, uh, I think uh, the Chinese government is quite you know, uh, insecure. Uh, the international society, you know, uh, so. The international NGO coming to the China in the first beginning are very open and very welcome. But right now they are thinking changed, you know. I don't know why. They're thinking maybe it's insecure, maybe it's a Like so, the data changed. After, I think maybe six, eight years ago, all the situation changed. Uh, what happened in that two-year period? I think it's a. Uh, To say, you know, political, you know, changed. And at that time, we, we found a piece of land in the Changgong, far far from here. They divide the lands, they build a, a facility there, and they drive it, they can go there, you know, uh, the place is big, you know, the uh, land is big enough for people.
everything is changed in the world you know, because you know, we are we are hoping you know uh, the Chinese government uh, can do some play you know, because this program is the only one really we hope we can do that for them for the for the China for the future yeah even now I dream back to the facility that you know, they thought, you know, the New York, I dreamed to someday go back to New York, you know, stay there for a long time. I hope, you know, I hope, I know I have to work here. Right now, I learn a lot. Before I went to the New York City, I'm a psychiatrist, you know, and I, I don't have the, the call whole value about myself. I just like I don't know. A dead body, you know. It's like a no soul, you know. So the everyday just ah wake up, eat, work, make the money. Kind of sleeping. So you know, after day top I got there. I got there. That changed me a lot. So my life is changed. So do the training all over the China. They want to help the people. They don't know how. We know how, but we don't know how to. You know, that's all we have, you know. Uh, uh, you know uh, the feeling of grateful, you know, uh, grateful feeling for for for, for, for Monsignor O'Brien, for state government, for uh, experts from uh, United States. Here is love. Here is love. They say. 善地在待他们，<笑>所以我在这里学到的最重要的东西，也就是爱。The country, the political, the policy, you know, the, I don't know, you know, I can have some, you know, opportunities to visit my family, to build a facility for the drug addicts. I can restart. Program. That's my dream. I don't know, but my maybe I'm too old. You know, I don't know. I have to wait for that.